everyone, welcome back to our modded create series where Blockdown and I are transforming this island into a create lover sanctuary. In between episodes, I did a little bit of preparation for today's project by making a little automatic rice farm over by my base. And then I cleared out the old crop farm near the old storage. I wanted to get a ton of rice because cutting rice panicles on the cutting board gives you straw and rice drops. With the straw, you can then make rope. And then you can make these little barrier things that sort of look like fences, but I feel like these would be really cute in a village. And if we come over here past the greenhouse, there's this little bit of the island that doesn't have anything built on it yet. And I think this would be perfect to build up a little area for our villagers. And it's kind of on the tip of the island, so I think it would be great if there was a lighthouse here as well. But then when I started to chop down trees, I noticed this weird sheep on this like cobble ledge and it was moving. It was weird. I would have to investigate what Blockdown was up to later, but I went ahead and cleared all the trees and flowers in this area and did a little bit of terraforming to make the build easier. I do want to head down into the caves, but first we should probably stop and top up on our food supply. And hello, Michaels, how's it going? And we'll just grab a stack of burgers. Thank you very much. Last episode, we were able to get a silk touch trade, so I do want to make a new diamond pickaxe as well. That way we can more easily mine up some ores, especially some copper for today. And we'll take our silk touch and our mending books out of the system. And hopefully the enchant table is kind to us because we're gonna have to go grind some levels and enchant for efficiency and unbreaking. All right, I've got high hopes here. Unbreaking three and efficiency four. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. We'll go ahead and slap on our other enchantments. And there we are, a brand new silk touch pickaxe. Okay, now I do think we are ready to go down into the cage. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the shock pendant. That is so funny. So whenever I get hit by an enemy, this has a chance to strike the attacker with lightning. We're gonna have to use this against Blockdown. And at that point, I headed into the caves for a quick trip for some diorite, calcite, and some copper ore. And at this point, I wanna figure out some pathing because I need to figure out how we're going to get over to the new village. We could probably start the path from the end of here and then bring it up around these trees and in through this whole mess of an area that I'm definitely gonna have to terraform. And then we can just bring this all the way to the tip of the island. I meant to bring some cobblestone over here, but I'm actually just going to plot out some basic ideas for how the builds are going to look here. Cause I figured this village is gonna have a couple of houses and then it'll also have the lighthouse. So we'll have our create powered lighthouse over here, a diagonal building over there on the right. And then the other side has another just little house. Maybe we can do something right here as well. And I still need a bunch of straw to make rope for our village. So I'm still on and off camera, you know, processing all the rice panicles. Next thing on our to-do list before we can start today is heading into the nether because we're gonna need some glowstone. I wanna make some fancy glowstone lamps with a chip mod, but I also need glowstone for redstone lamps, which I also want for the lighthouse as well. But luckily with Fane Miner, grabbing a bunch of glowstone is not really that big of a problem. The problem comes in the form of these randomly spawning wither skeletons, which why are they even spawning here? Regardless of the angry piglins and the wither skeletons, I grabbed a bunch of glowstone and then headed back into the overworld because I just really hate spending any time in the nether if I don't have to. I focus mainly on getting some deep slate and some redstone because there's a really cool mod called Stoneworks that lets you make mossy deep slate. And then I made an alchemy bench from the chipped mod. It was the only workstation that we still needed. That way I could edit the texture of our redstone lamps and our glowstone. Then I spent some time fixing up the holes in the terrain that we noted earlier while we were making the pathway from the restaurant to the new village area. And now here we are, and I figured we could build a house together on camera. I always start with the pillars, and so for these, I'm gonna be using strip spruce and oak, but for now, I'm just going to use spruce and oak and I'll strip them later. I am gonna be using Create today to make our lighthouse spin. For the rest of this episode though, I'm pretty much gonna be just focusing on building and maybe some of the decorating mods. And with those, we can just kind of fill up this area of the island and make it look a lot better. I think over here, I'm gonna add like a little extra room, maybe for like storage or chests or maybe a bed or something. And then for the walls, for the main part of the house, I have a combination of blocks that we're also gonna be using for our lighthouse, which are diorite, calcite, and white concrete. Wait, I just heard this noise in the water and there's like a whole boat over there. What the heck is that? I wonder what Blockdown's been up to. Anyways, over here I wanna do a palette change and we're gonna use some oak and stripped oak for the walls of just this little extra room that we added on. Then swapping back to the original palette for the rest of the walls of the house. And we are gonna put a tower on here as well that's gonna be made out of stone. So it'll be a lot of nice colors together, I think. 
And for the base of that tower, I'm gonna be using a combination of moss and mossy cobblestone, and then basically move up into just regular stone, stone brick and andesite slowly. And I think for now, I'm gonna stop building here because we've gotta put the roof on this before I know exactly how tall the tower has to be. And truly, it's never too early to sprinkle some oak leaves everywhere. But I do think it's time that we put on the roof, that way we can finish the tower. So we'll slab roof this side and then bring it up one slab at a time till it meets the wall. And then we're just gonna fill in this roof with the deep slate, the moss and the mossy deep slate. And I personally really like this because it connects it to the rest of the island, but also has its own unique little flair. And we could also plant tulips on the moss, which I think is so cute. But you know what, I actually didn't think this through and this is actually going to be on the edge of our regular roof. So what if we just remove all of this and pretend it never happened? I think sometimes fixing problems in Minecraft is just as easy as doing that. As far as the shape of the roof goes, I want it to be a little bit different from the rest of the island. So I wanna do a somewhat rounded roof here. I think it's a really cute and interesting shape for a house. And we can connect that to the back with these slabs really quick. So for our roof for the stair bits, we have these template blocks, which I will show you in just one moment, but they are basically like a placeholder block that you can just fill with any other block. So as you can see here, I put moss inside of them. This templates mod comes with all sorts of different things like trapdoors, walls, stairs, slabs, even buttons. So you could always make your own custom blocks, which is really cool. And once you get the whole roof all filled in, this is kind of basically what it's gonna be looking like. Okay, back up on the tower, we're just gonna make sure we build this up a couple more blocks. That way we can get some more height on it so it has a little bit more variation from the actual roof of the house. And if we just pop into free cam really quickly, we can just make sure that it looks good for the size of the house, which this one does. I think it's important just to make sure that the scale looks good compared to the rest of the builds in the area and the builds that you're gonna be putting around. So. This one's taller than our house, but it's not gonna be as tall as the lighthouses, for example. And all of our block palettes kind of complement each other and also complement the other areas on the island since they all are pretty similar. And then we'll cap off this tower with a spruce fence and then I wanna take a quick look in free cam after I break some of this scaffolding and just double check. And yeah, that looks great. I think that's perfect for this house. Now up on the mossy part of our roof, we can add in some grass and some flowering azalea. And for another color here, I'd love to add a brick chimney on the roof and we do have some modded chimney thingies. So I wanna use one of those on top. And I can't be stopped from placing some oak leaves. You guys know it at this point. I am gonna be doing the interior for this build on camera today because I wanna explore some of the decoration mods together. But for now, I just wanna get the floor put in. And for that, I'm gonna be bringing the same pattern that we brought in from the McDrifts last time with these brick bond spruce planks and then these stacked spruce planks as well. And I'm not joking when I say that these stacked spruce planks might be my favorite block ever invented for all of Minecraft. Over here along the edge of the island, I wanna run this rope so it kinda looks like a rustic fence on the edge of the cliff. And then of course, we've gotta add some lattice to the back of the house with some leaves growing up. And I'm just gonna preemptively put a little bit of extra pathing down, although I don't know if the lighthouse is gonna sit here forever or I've kind of drawn it in there. And lastly, before we move on to building up our next build, I kind of want to add a little bit of a garden bed here. And we'll sprinkle in a couple of these rose bushes as well to go alongside the tulips because you know, your girl loves roses and tulips together. And it's gonna look really cutie, I think. Honestly, I really like how this is coming out so far. We have a really nice kind of slope gradually downwards. And yeah, I think I'm gonna jump into a time lapse and build the next couple of builds. Okay, I'm supposed to meet up with Blockdown in a little bit, but I want to dye a few of my sheep really quickly. And actually I forgot my share, so let's go and get some really quickly. Hello, Michael. Wait, definitely the same Michael as before. Michael, what happened? What does this mean? What What's going on? 
That will have to be a question for another time. I just want some shears. Oh, that. Does that say used to be Michael? Yep, it says used to be Michael. Oh God. What happened, buddy? In any case, while I'm waiting for block down, I'm just gonna get a couple of colors of wool really quickly so that we can use them to decorate. And then back over by the lighthouse, I quickly want to build up a little like market stall kind of thing. I might make a couple of these. Honestly, having access to all the stuff that's in the greenhouse has made so many of these projects so much easier because we just have unlimited wood constantly building up. And this is where the wool comes in. But we'll also need it for beds and for paintings and couches and stuff like that too. So it's good to have extra. And we can finish capping this off over here with the rope. And then I think we can bring in some of these oak hedges just around this house right here for like another little flower patch, which we're just gonna fill with some more tulips that I have on hand. And now that that's all done, let's go ahead and meet up with Blocky and see what he wants. Oh, Michael, you're so cool. Don't tell Block down, but you're way cooler than him. Froggy? Hey, Blocky, what's up? Who are you talking to? Michael, have you seen him before? He's just this bee that like chills here. He doesn't do anything. This is all he does. Huh. So anyway, what have you been up to? Well, I was working on a lighthouse on the other side of the island, but I, have you seen that boat that's like going around? There's like a yacht. Oh yeah, you mean the, the fishing boat? Looks like a yacht to me. Looks luxurious. Kinda, yeah. I've been making a ferry system. Like a ferry, like with wings? A ferry, F-E-R-R-Y. Can we ride the boat? Yeah, we can. I mean, we need to go to the station to ride the boat. Should we just maybe hop over there quickly? Froggy, here's the boat. This is so cool. Right, take a seat or you're going to fall off. Why is it so spinny? Yeah, I maybe had like a few issues laying the track. It's a little bit, little bit of a bumpy ride, but it's safe, I promise. Yeah, the waves are really crashing. Like it's going vroom, 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 vroom. It's going what? I don't know. Wait, so eventually we'll have a dock over here too? Yeah, well, I was kind of coming here to see you because, uh, well, we need to build this dock, right? Well, we did it. I love this sign that you made. It's 45 seconds till the boat comes. Is that accurate? Yeah, well, 30 seconds now. Well, I think this fits your area pretty good though, right? It's cute, it's cottagey, flowers. Honestly, I love it. And I can sit here and watch you leave. My ride's here, so um, I'll be heading back to the airport. Yeah, probably should go back to your side of the island. Well, safe travels. Okay, bye. Sheep, come on, man. This is extremely awkward. Yeah. Well, collabing on our first build together with Blockdown was super fun, and the boat that he built is super awesome. I can't wait to use that in the future, but I've got a whole village left to finish upstairs, so I should probably get back to work. We're almost ready to start the decorating phase, but before we do that, I just want to go around a little bit and plant some extra crop fields. And I think I'm definitely going to want one over here in this area. And luckily I've been pretty much keeping all my seeds from the automatic crop farm. So let's just grab some wheat seeds and some other seeds really quick. And then I'm just going to put a couple of different little crop patches around. That way we have a good way to feed our villagers. So this one should probably be a beetroot patch just because I feel like villagers always have beetroot for some reason. Across the path from that, we can do a little carrot field. This one I mostly want just because I have a flowery crops texture pack on and it's so, so pretty when they're all grown in. And then over here by the lighthouse, I think I just want to do a big wheat field. I feel like those always just look so, so good once they're fully grown in. I know it's not the biggest village that we've ever built, but I really like how this little mini village on the tip of the island is coming together. The Cree lot is so cool because there's so much movement, like the lighthouse moving, and now Block's boat is going around as well. So it just, I don't know, it really feels special. And since we've almost fully transformed this island, we only have a little bit left to go. The Michaels just need somewhere cool to live. So this works. Okay, it's time to go take a little nappy nap and then we can decorate these houses and move our villagers over. Okay, so I made a bunch of beds, but I want to get some sofas as well because I just feel like these are going to be really, really cute. I don't think the villagers can sit on them, but we can. 
And just looking at our recipe book here, we can make curtains. I actually think that we should make some of these because I think that they're gonna be cute over the windows. Now here, I definitely wanna put two beds and I'll stack up a lamp for them in the middle. And over on this side of the house, I wanna do a set of couches, maybe one here and one here. That way the villagers have somewhere to pretend sit. And I want a lamp to go there, but I don't have a table yet. And here are the curtains. Oh my gosh, that's so cool that you can open and close them. Across the street, I want this to also be kind of like a bunkhouse for some extra villagers in case we get any more. So we'll go ahead and we'll add a bunch of beds in here as well. We can add a little seating area for them. So maybe like a double couch and then a single over there. And then we'll add some lamps behind. That's nice. And I guess we can put the curtains here. That's kind of cute. I'll need to get one more for this other side, but we'll worry about that later. I wanna make a couple of these flower boxes. I don't think I have that many windows to put them on on the outside of, but we'll make a couple of them for the future. I'm gonna do a little bit of searching by the mod name. So if you do add another furniture mod, we can grab all these things that we already have in our storage, like these shelves and chairs and tables and stuff like that. And we can also do that for the other mod called Cluttered. And this has become one of my favorite mods, I'm not gonna lie. So we can take this briefcase and then we can look at all of these different items over in the JEI on the right side to see what we wanna make. Definitely some jam jars. I think that's adorable. There's a bee lamp. That's amazing. We definitely need one of those. This planter looks like a cat. It's adorable. We need it. We can make this little stack of books. Oh my gosh, this little towel rack is everything. Okay, you get the idea. I really like this decoration mod. It's really, really fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a bunch of this stuff and then I'll bring it back when we're ready to start decorating. Okay, first things first, I made an extra curtain for the window in here. So now we can place it down and open it or close it, I guess. We've got some chipped bookshelves here that we can stack up, some spruce shelves. I found these really cool lanterns you can put down, but they actually cost a diamond, so I wouldn't recommend making too many of them. And then I think over here we'll put our cat pot. Oh my God, it's so cute. And then maybe we can do our bee lamp and our rover briefcase. Sprinkle down a couple more bookshelves. Then I made some canvas from the straw that we've been getting from the rice panicles from the machine that we made earlier, the auto harvester. So we made some carpet as well, which is so cute. I'm not the best at interiors even without mods and there's so many options with mods that it's somewhat overwhelming to me, but I think that this is gonna come out cute. This house right here is gonna be for the Michaels that we already have and the other house will be kind of like a bunk house just in case any more Michaels show up. So I want their house to kind of feel a little bit more special since they live here full time. And they are librarians so we can go ahead and make them like a library shelf. I made this adorable little cat garland. I think this is so cute. They definitely need a cat so hopefully we can get one for them. I made a couple of birdhouses that we can put over here as if they're being handmade and sold. And I've got a couple of bikes as well. They're not rideable, but we can pretend that the villagers are using these to get around the island. Decorating with mods is so fun, but I'm gonna go clean this mess up and then move our villagers over. All right, Michael, come on. I have shaders on and we're gonna go take you to your new home. And we'll actually swoop down so we can go through the intended pathway because I did finish it between recordings. I kind of just got a little bit carried away. I was listening to the new Taylor Swift album and vibing and yeah, the next thing you know, all this coarse dirt was placed and I hadn't hit record. I'm super stoked at how this mini village came out with all these flowers and crop fields and all these little decorations. It looks so, so cool. All right, welcome to your new house, Michael. And let me put down your lectern for you so that way you can work if you want to. I'll be right back with the other Michael. Oh wait, you know what? We do have a cat already. We have this Michael. We can give you to the villagers. Now let me grab the other Michael. Now, come on y'all, we're going over to the new village. And here you are, second Michael. There we go, all in your new home, all cuddly and cozy. All right, and here you guys go. You can have the cat Michael as well to protect you and for companionship because I did notice that you have a lot of cat decorations in here. I also added some paintings in here and in the other house. I really, really love them. They're so adorable. This fox painting though is my favorite. Why does he have so much res? But I think that's gonna be it for today. A quick pop into free cam is gonna show us we did it so much. We built a whole mini village and lighthouse and this whole dock area as well. Also, yes, I did note that this area is empty, but that's on purpose because I'm gonna be building something for the next episode that goes here. So let me know what you think it's going to be. It's definitely related to maybe some potential visitors though. So I'm very excited for that. 
anyways guys thanks so much for watching as always very very much appreciated i'll catch you guys in the next episode Bye bye